The new Lagos Physical Planning Law, if properly implemented, will ensure safe and sustainable buildings in Lagos State, thereby bringing to an end incessant building collapse cases in the state. This view was expressed by stakeholders at the 29th Annual Conference of the Nigerian Institute of Building in Lagos, where they deliberated on implementation strategies for the Lagos State Physical Planning Law. It was a gathering of stakeholders in the built environment sector in Nigeria, including builders and government officials. The aim, to deliberate on strategies for easy implementation of the Lagos physical planning law and regulations. Because we want to be, want to be sacrosanct with uh, Lagos State um, physical planning and urban development law that has just come out, as a builder, when something like that happens, we need to do what we want to take charge. We need to see how we can help the government to be able to achieve its aim. Builders are in charge of production management. In production management, there are some things, there are some documents like uh, methodology statements, like uh, uh, health and uh, safety plans. And if you have those documents in place and you don't have the how you want to implement it, it will not work. These professionals are bordered that building collapse incidents have become a recurring decimal in major Nigerian cities, particularly Lagos, and are determined to do everything within their powers to ensure that buildings in the country are not only safe, but also sustainable. Lagos State has taken the lead in this uh, physical development law regulation, and we are very happy with it. Uh, the regulation and uh, that's the Coburn Council of Registered Builders of Nigeria. We are taking the Lagos example. Actually, we are trying to see whether some other states can replicate this law and implement it appropriately. If you don't have a safe and sustainable building, you know, it, is, it will be very, very difficult for even the middle class to own home. Lagos State Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Idris Salako, says government is committed to ensuring safe built environment but will require the collaboration of all stakeholders. I need to let you all note that planning permit and state certification for issuance of certificate of completion and fitness for habitation are sacrosanct for buildings in Lagos State. The state looks forward to cordial partnership with all professionals in the built industry to enhance fiscal environment for a greater Lagos. Decisions reached at this forum, if properly enforced, will no doubt change the face of physical planning in Lagos and lead to the production of better quality and safe buildings in Lagos State in particular and Nigeria in general. Nkoli Omoudu, AIT News, Lagos.